Okay, um, some say it's all about the sweetness and all about getting together. Oh, no, no, I say it's all about winning. We are hanging out with the winners, I tell you what. Some very happy people. The eyes are dry now, but they were tearing up and so excited. And this one here I thought was going to, you know, do a herky jump onto the stage. We'll get to her in a second. But let's start here. What is your name, where are you from, and what is the name of your award-winning pie? I'm Phyllis Bartholomew from Columbus, Nebraska, and I did a sweet cider apple pie. Oh, my goodness. Now, was this a recipe you made up yourself? Did you borrow it from somebody, or is it generations old? No, I made it up myself. This is fantastic. Um, I saw Emerald Lagasse reduce down some beef juices and white wine for a good, strong flavor doing a meat dish. Yeah. And I'm thinking, if it works for meat, it'll work for fruit. Fantastic. So I do that with my cherry pies and my apple pie. I am so glad you finished the sentence like that. I thought you were going to say you reduce some meat and put it in the pie. And I was going to say, well, it won. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Now, have you won before? Have you entered the competition before? I have. This is my 10th year. Oh, my gosh. Uh, in 2004, I was best of show. For a cherry red raspberry pie. Excellent. I am standing among royalty here. All right. You got your partner in crime right here. What's your name? Where are you from? What's the name of your pie? Uh, Lisa Sparks, and I'm from Atlanta, Indiana. And I had a caramel apple, well, or caramel apple pecan. Oh my goodness! It's a tongue twister to eat yeah. and to say, <laughs> is it not? Oh, it's fantastic. So, how'd you come up with the idea for your pie? Um, I've owned a pie shop for 20 years. And so I make lots of pies. Lots and lots and lots of pies. Yeah. And here's a secret. I'm going to ask each and every one of you. Do you still eat pie? I don't like pie. <laughs> never have. <laughs> I love that. You never know what people are going to say, but you're doing something right because you have the <laughs> ribbon right here. So do you have somebody else taste test it for you? Yes. Oh, I love it. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Oh, my gosh. And we have our friend over here. We've seen it several times throughout the weekend. Just remind everybody your name and where you're from. We're Linda Hunt from DeWitt, Michigan. Excellent. And her claim to fame, uh, my, one of my favorite parts of the uh, award ceremony, in these high heels, she leapt up three <laughs> feet onto the stage. We're going, don't trip, don't trip. So I almost left it in the lawn <laughs> a couple times. Now, you actually won two. What did you, which categories yeah. did you win in? Um, in Candy Apple. Excuse me, in Apple. Okay. With our county fair Candy Apple. I got Emerald Mention and then first... And cherry again. That's fantastic. That's Grandpa Farrell's cherry blackberry peach. Wonderful. How does it feel to be a winner over and over and over again? Because of course I last year, best enough. Of yeah. It's like the best feeling ever. This is fantastic. And I love pie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This is fantastic. You got to teach her how to like pie. Yeah. All right. And then over here, this of course was the one I was talking about who we thought we could do like a, a herky backflip inverted <laughs> something onto the stage. You were a little excited when you won. Very excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and tell us again your name, where you're from, and uh, the name of your pie. Okay. Michelle Pearl. Albano, um, from Connecticut, Norway. Connecticut, we have Michelle's Pies, and we won um, the open for the tiramisu pie, and um She's won so many she cannot remember, people, but as soon as she does, she'll let us know. Do you remember? It's okay. You're holding three, so that's a good thing. The tiramisu and the, uh, oh, the citrus for the um, yeah. twisted citrus <laughs> blackberry is. pie. There you go. All that orange juice gave her a kick. Honorable mention for the caramel chocolate pecan pie. Fantastic. <laughs> what do you think it, it, it were your secrets? You don't have to give away the secrets, but kind of behind being a winner. I mean, there's so many competitors here. Why do you think yeah, you Yeah, there's a lot of competitors. It's a tough competition. Um, my secret is I make everything with love, and everything's made by hand with love, and I absolutely love pie, and it's my favorite thing. So. Excellent. you got to teach that one a thing or two. Yeah. And then moving on down the the line here. You also were really excited. It was a really great laugh. Listen to this. I was very excited. My name is Diane Salick. I'm uh -huh. from Franklin, Michigan. Excellent. Just like Linda, we're both from Excellent. Michigan. And I won with my chocolate pie. It's called Three Blind Mice Chocolate Cheese Pie. And on top of my pie, it had cheese wedges made out of Rice Krispies and yellow coating chocolate oh my gosh. and gray mice with three black glasses and white canes. Oh, how adorable. <laughs> but no real mice and no real no, cheese. No, And I want a runner-up for my love and my latte pie. If you like coffee, you would love that pie. And it had chocolate spoons on top of it. Ooh. Chocolate whipped cream. We're going to have to talk about that one after. Big, yeah, big coffee yeah. fan. So why do you think you won and beat out all these other oh, worthy competitors? Oh, it's so <laughs> tough. I saw some of the pies this morning. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I have a chance. Yeah. I don't know. It's just what everybody likes, I guess. You Wonderful. Know? Well, it's been a great experience again. This is my second year. I won the chocolate division last year. And you'll be coming, to, coming oh, back I'm in coming again. Oh, yeah. Right, <laughs> For absolutely. sure. And last Thank but you. not least, we have here, what is your name and where are you from? I'm Enters, and I'm from Altamont Springs, Florida. Oh, excellent. From right here at home. And what was uh, the name of your winning pie? It was a glazed strawberry cheesecake pie. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I thought I liked the latte thing. Cheesecake's <laughs> pretty darn good. Why do, you, why do you think you beat out the competition? 
Well, to be honest, it's hard to know why, but we just keep trying. We just keep making the best pies we can, and then it's basically whatever the judges decide. And there are a lot of people that walk away without any ribbons, and it's not because they didn't make good pie. Right. It's just because they chose ours, yeah. to be honest. So in, in 2006, I won Best of Show for my cherry pie, and that was as an amateur. So now this is my fifth year competing, but it's the third one in a pro professional category. Congratulations to you, and congratulations to all of you. I have one last question for you. Does the diet start tomorrow or more, more pies start tomorrow? I like it. More pies start tomorrow. Congratulations once again to all our winners.